In this video, we're going to take a look at updating the initial values of a Unity project. We've taken a look at right now the uh, variable data editor section, and here's the list of my variables. And we can see the initial value section of it is the value of one. Once the project is starting and running and, and it gives it this initial value, you can change those values. And the, this is actually the live values inside of an animation table. And we've changed them to a value other than one. So the next question is some of these variables we want to update in the initial column table. So what we can take a look at here is we can actually show a column called save. And that save column, when we hit the update initial value from the PLC drop-down menu, update initial values with current values, it will take the value, the live values from the project, and force it over into the initial value column. So if I take a look at this, I checked a couple of the columns and not all of them. So if I do PLC, update initial value with current values, that actually did it for the project. I don't see anything change yet. Nothing's changed yet. So then I come into here and I update local initial values with PLC initial values. Confirm the modification. Yes. And you can see nothing's changed until I open and close the screen again. And now I can see for the variables that have the checkbox next to the save, it got updated with the real live values, whereas the values that don't have the checkbox next to them remained at the value where they're at.